Right next to me is Stefan from the steering team. Now changing from a participant to, to the steering team means that you've got a lot of work and not so much time for, for setup and, and bring so much stuff. So this is just a tiny layout this time. Oh my goodness, so in your house bricks all over? Well, sort of, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is my um, Top Gear studio. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a car fan. And um, for, for several years now I'm, I'm just building cars and what is more obvious to, to get um, a connection between cars and uh, Top Gear. So here are the three presenters with their, they're talking about their, their new rides. And so I'm, I'm a car fan in, in general, not, not a specific one. No, I'm not just building Porsche or Ferrari or whatever. So it's, model of, of cars of any brand but the thing is they are all built in 1x20 okay. and 1x20 is um, the scale they are using in the mini land in, in all the, the Lego lands yeah. because um, I built my, my first car I think it's about 10 years ago in that scale and uh, then I figured out it's the brilliant scale for, for building cars because it's uh, big enough to include enough details but still small enough uh, not to be unhandleable or, or to, to use thousands of, of bricks. Mm -hmm. So 1 by 20 is just the scale for me to, to build cars. And yeah, uh, as a car fan I'm of course building cars from, from movies like the DeLorean from Back to the Future or um, the, the police cars from Mad Max. Great. But um, yeah, Ferrari is, is a must. And uh, earlier this year I've been to the Ferrari day at the Legoland in, in Billund. And therefore I had to, to make some, some more Ferraris. So actually I've, I think I've got uh, more than, than 15 different models, including all the, the supercars. Okay. One very important model is um, this one. It's from uh, Olsenbanden. Some, uh, yeah, it's extremely day, uh, popular in, in Denmark. And uh, this is a copy uh, from the model shown in uh, the Legoland. And since they don't sell their models, of course, I had to uh, make several photos and um, make my, my own copy. And even that was, was challenging because, you know, the people at Legoland, they know how to, to build cars and so I thought, oh, how hard can it be? But then sitting there and thinking, oh, how did they fix that brick here? And uh, it took quite a while. It was quite interesting even to, to make the, the copy of, of that model. Thing. And of course I can do things uh, the Legoland can't do because some of the cars does have an interior like the Thunderbirds Fab 1 or the even more special not really suitable for kids is that one. don't know if the camera is able to capture that. It's the camper van from Breaking Bad. Great. Yeah, and so as, as you can see, there are many different uh, brands here. Porsche, Renault, Ferrari. Which company ever built great cars? One day I will make them with Lego bricks. On this one? This is, oh, this oh. one is in a quite special 
kind of because that kind of is gone. I think for uh, for a couple of years now, yeah. and um, you you don't find all the elements in, in that color. So it's it's quite challenging to to build in, in more rare colors than it is in, in red, because obviously in red you you can find every big Lego ever made. Sure. So we see many faces, many lucky faces right here. Uh, the weekend is for everybody. It's not only for adult Lego fans. Well, the, the thing is, it is mainly an event for, for the fans, of course, to come together and uh, talk the language of the brick. But of course, we also have visitors, or the visitors are allowed to, to join us and uh, check out the, the awesome creations. Because, you know, it's always nice to, to talk to them and uh, show what we, we are doing next to the instruction put to, to the box. So, Lego is still way more than uh, only the, the instruction. Thank you so much for your time and yeah. uh, wait welcome. more cars, please. <laughs> I will do, definitely. See you next year. Of course. Bye.